major risk factors significantly increase the chance of developing coronary artery disease. Those that cannot be changed are heredity. People whose parents have coronary artery disease are more likely to develop it. African Americans also are at increased risk because they experience a higher rate of severe hypertension than whites. Sex. Men are more likely to have heart attacks than women and to have them at a younger age. Over age 60, however, women have coronary artery disease at a rate equal to that of men. Age. Men who are 45 years of age and older and women who are 55 years of age and older are more likely to have coronary artery disease. Occasionally, coronary disease may strike a person in the 30s. Older people, those over 65, are more likely to die of a heart attack. Older women are twice as likely as older men to die within a few weeks of a heart attack. Major risk factors that can be changed are smoking. Smoking increases both the chance of developing coronary artery disease and the chance of dying from it. Smokers are two to four times more likely than are non-smokers to die of sudden heart attack. They are more than twice as likely as non-smokers to have a heart attack. They also are more likely to die within an hour of a heart attack. Secondhand smoke also may increase risk. High cholesterol. Dietary sources of cholesterol are meat, eggs, and other animal products. The body also produces it. Age, sex, heredity, and diet affect one's blood cholesterol. Total blood cholesterol is considered high at levels above 240 mg per deciliter and borderline at 200 to 239 mg per deciliter. High risk levels of low density lipoprotein LDL cholesterol begin at 130 to 159 mg per deciliter, depending on other risk factors. Risk of developing coronary artery disease increases steadily as blood cholesterol levels increase above 160 mg per deciliter. When a person has other risk factors, the risk multiplies. High blood pressure. High blood pressure makes the heart work harder and weakens it over time. It increases the risk of heart attack, stroke, kidney failure, and congestive heart failure. A blood pressure of 140 over 90 or above is considered high. As the numbers rise, high blood pressure goes from stage 1, mild, to stage 4, very severe. In combination with obesity, smoking, high cholesterol, or diabetes, high blood pressure raises the risk of heart attack or stroke several times. Lack of physical activity. Lack of exercise increases the risk of coronary artery disease. Even modest physical activity, like walking, is beneficial if done regularly. Diabetes mellitus. The risk of developing coronary artery disease is seriously increased for diabetics. More than 80% of diabetics die of some type of heart or blood vessel disease. Contributing risk factors. Contributing risk factors have been linked to coronary artery disease but the degree of their significance is not known yet. Contributing risk factors are hormone replacement therapy. Evidence from a large trial called the Women's Health Initiative released in 2002 and 2003 found that hormone replacement therapy is a risk factor for coronary artery disease in postmenopausal women. The therapy was once thought to help protect women against heart disease, but in the trial, it was discovered that it was harmful to women with existing coronary artery disease. Obesity. Excess weight increases the strain on the heart and increases the risk of developing coronary artery disease even if no other risk factors are present. Obesity increases blood pressure and blood cholesterol and can lead to diabetes. Stress and anger. Some scientists believe that stress and anger can contribute to the development of coronary artery disease and increase the blood's tendency to form clots, thrombosis. Stress, the mental and physical reaction to life's irritations and challenges, increases the heart rate and blood pressure and can injure the lining of the arteries. Evidence shows that anger increases the risk of dying from heart disease. The risk of heart attack is more than double after an episode of anger. Chest pain, angina, is the main symptom of coronary heart disease but it is not always present. Other symptoms include shortness of breath and chest heaviness, tightness, pain, a burning sensation, squeezing, 
or pressure either behind the breastbone or in the arms, neck, or jaws. Many people have no symptoms of coronary artery disease before having a heart attack. 63% of women and 48% of men who died suddenly of coronary artery disease had no previous symptoms of the disease, according to the American Heart Association.